Welcome to Excel Basics number six. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link. You can download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, in this Excel Basics, we want to talk about functions. We've already talked about a few different functions, but we want to look at some uh, data analysis functions. Uh, we want to talk about the max, the min, summing, averaging, count if, and sum if. Now, we have some data. I'm going to scroll over here. And what we have are prices of vehicles sold last month at Toyota, to, Seattle Toyota. Now, I want to analyze with functions this data over and over and over again. So instead of having to create all of my functions here, like for instance, uh, in sum, I don't want to have to do this. Come over here and click and drag. Not only does that lead to errors because I might highlight the wrong cells, but it takes a long time. I'm going to click Escape. Here's how we're going to deal with this. You can use names. Instead of this range right here, if I say equals and click on this range right here, let me blow this up. Equals. Instead of that right there, that range, we'd have to use it in every single function. You can actually replace that range with a name. So I'm going to click Escape. That gets me out of that formula. I'm going to highlight from A2, very carefully making sure I got it from A2. I got the right set of cells all the way to J9. So I've highlighted, and here's the name box. Not only does the name box tell you what the active cell is, that's A2, but once you have something highlighted, you can click in the name box and name it. Now I'm going to name it something really short. Um, you can name it something like sales data or whatever. I'm going to name it SD. Now, the reason why I use short names is because if I'm typing out lots of formulas, SD is short. Other conventions uh, go something like this, uh, sales data, right? So it's easy to understand uh, what that name represents. And that's perfectly OK. I usually s tend to stick to. Uh, short ones. If it's only me using these all the time, then I stick to short ones. If it's someone else that may use this, I may type a longer one. But whatever name you put there, you see the flashing cursor, then hit Enter, and then it's officially uh, there. And let's check. Let's click in this cell right here, and I'm going to hold Control and zoom out. Click in this cell and go to the name box. There's a drop down, and then point to SD. And sure enough, it highlights the right data. All right, now let's go over here. And we want to see how to do a bunch of functions. And here we go. The first one is total number of observations. And what we have highest price, then lowest price, average sum, count cars more than 30,000. And eventually, we get to even standard deviation. Now, we've talked about this in earlier videos. What you do is you go hunt for these if you don't know what they are. If you don't know sum is sum and average is average, then you have to go hunt for them. So here, I want to count the total number of observations. So I'm going to click up here. And it's the total number of observations. So it's something like, it's got to be something like you know, total or count or something. I'm going to try count which is kind of cheating because I know it's the count function. We could type uh, total observations. Not even close. Look at that. So the help doesn't always work. So you might have to try a couple different things. It's certainly not z-test. You can watch the, my statistics series and learn about that. Let's try count again. By the way, there's other ways to search for functions. This is the way I actually do quite often, just for fun. I go to all. And I actually, they're alphabetical, and I go through the whole list sometimes. But I can search for them this way. If I'm looking for payment, I look in the P's. If I'm looking for m minimum or small, I look in the M's or the S's. So I'm going to go look in the C's and see what I can find. There's count, clean, code. That one actually, you type in your home address, and it goes to your house and cleans your house. Code, that gives you the secret code to get into some website. Just kidding, those are jokes. Oh, there it is, count. So I'm looking in the counts, and sure enough, I click on it, and it gives me a name. Counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers. Hey, that's what I have. By the way, if you're counting words, then use counta. Counts the number of cells in the range that are not empty. It'll count words, uh, numbers, 
errors, everything. I actually have a video post on YouTube for that one. But let's stick to count. That counts uh, numbers. Click OK. Now the value I want is SD, so I'm just going to type it. Notice over here we talked about this preview. This preview is very convenient because now it'll show us the array. Looks like they're in, uh, in but it, so there it is. And if you had more than one array, you could keep clicking and actually have a bunch of arrays that are not next to each other. But SD is fine. You can see the preview there. Click OK. So there it is. Now you, we've done this a couple times in this series already, so I'm now going to show you uh, how to type functions. And you type functions once you know the name of them. Now, highest price is max, so watch this. And this is why we named it uh, sh short. Equals MAX, and in 2003 and earlier, you have to type MAX and open parentheses. You have to type the whole thing. But in 2000 and Seven, they added something that used to be in VBA, uh, a drop down. So if you see what you want, you could double click it, or once it's highlighted in blue, you can hit tab. Right? So you got this max, and now you type SD. Now you can see in 2007 it's got a name tag in SD, that means it's named. And it's blue, so it's recognizing that it's some sort of range. Usually, if I'm typing out a bunch of things, I go over and look. Or at least when you're learning, go over and look and see that it's actually highlighted in blue. So it looks like we got it just right. Now another thing that's convenient, you don't have to put the last closed parentheses like this if you are um, doing a simple function without lots of arguments. So I can just hit Enter. I'll hit Control Enter because I want to show you. If I hit F2, you can see that it put it in. All right, now the next is lowest price. And if you know what it is, you type equals M I N and I'm going to hit tab and then S D enter. Notice we have that name we could type it in it's short and we didn't have to put that in parentheses here. Let's try average equals average again if you're in 2003 or earlier you have to type the whole thing out but notice in 7 it's got it highlighted and I've only typed 4 so now I can hit tab and there it is and then I type S D SD, Enter. Now the keyboard shortcut for sum is Alt equals, as we saw in earlier videos. Alt equals. It doesn't guess right, but it's very polite. It's highlighting it because it knows that it doesn't always guess right. So if it's highlighted, you can just type and it replaces it. SD, Enter. Now count more cars. This is the count if function. Uh, or we'll go search for it. We want to count cars more than 30,000. So I'm going to actually click on this and type count um, conditionally. Count conditionally. It gives us count, which is not it. D count, which is for database. D count, which is for counts, and it's a database. Count if counts the number of cells within a range that meet a given criteria. Sure enough, there it is. It took us a number of functions reading through, but there it is. We're going to give it a range and the condition, which is greater than 30,000. Click OK. And what's nice, when you get a function like this for the first time, please come up to the uh, function argument box and read, especially if you get a longer one or even you know, match. Or some functions have arguments that are hard to remember. But if you come up here and read like this and the criteria, it'll, it, it'll give you a hint. So range, that's going to be our SD and tab. Move forward in, in dialog boxes with tab. Criteria is the condition in the form of a number, expression, or text that defines itself. If we were looking up words and trying to count apples, we could just type the word apple here or something like that. Or put uh, an exact number and it would uh, count it. But for us, we have greater than 30,000. You can, um, if you put it in a cell like this, then it's link like we talked earlier and it's a cell reference and then it's easy to change. Sure enough, it gives us 51. Notice it puts it in quotes because that can, criteria for count if has to be in uh, te as text, and quotes tell you it's text. Now, sum if, we're running out of time in this, so I'm just going to type it equals sum if, open parentheses. Now, the screen tips are pretty handy too. The range is SD, 
and when you get a screen tip, it reminds you to put a comma to get to the next one. The criteria, now the range here is for criteria. Well, our criteria and some range are the same. So then our criteria will be right here. If we had a range different for some, and we'd uh, put the sum range right there, which I have lots of videos on YouTube that show you how to do that. Close parentheses and enter, and there's the sum. Finally, the standard deviation of the population. We'll just type this up type this out because we're running out of time and then SD enter so that's a little bit about functions and name all right we'll see you next video